I have to say, folks, when I put my very first video out asking you to send me a question, I really thought that I would get perhaps a handful of questions. But you folks smashed it. Many questions for us to go through, so I'm gonna try and answer them all. So we stay tuned. But before I go any further, I would like to thank Joe Green, one of my great viewers, who gave me this idea of coming up with a Q&A video. So, Joe Green, thank you very much, and I am wearing my green jumper and have my green light. I hope you like it. Anyway, without any further ado, let's jump into your questions. Of course, because this was Joe Green's idea, I'll start with his question. Joe Green asks, what first got you into fragrances? Well, I love talking about fragrances. In fact, I always wanted to have a YouTube channel, but I wasn't quite sure what to talk about. I never really paid attention to what I like and dislike. I was very much into my studies and work and never thinking about my hobbies very much. So then one day I just realized that I was surrounded by very good, or there's not so good fragrances here in the house. And I thought, well, this is what my passion is all about, so why not talk about it? So then came my YouTube channel, and the rest, as they say, is history. But Joe Green also asks, how have you ended up in Plymouth? Well, that would take a long time to answer in every detail, but I'll try to be very quick. Well, I was in London living with my partner, and then my mother-in-law developed uh, Alzheimer's, so we came down here to look after her. Few years later, she passed away, bless her. By that time, we were already settled in the region, and here we stayed. So, that was it. Okay, so, Liam asks, Let's say you come home to a funny smell. How would you go about locating the source? You can't find it, and it gets worse. How would you react, and what would you do? How much would it annoy you? And good stories about you having to sniff out uh, a cause of a strange smell. I'll try to be very quickly there, Liam, and I hope it, it all makes sense. Okay, so if I got home and um, I found a funny smell around, how would I go about locating it? Well, certainly I would be sniffing around and um, you can't find it and it gets worse. Well, that would annoy me very much. How would you react and what would you do? I would perhaps go from room to room and uh, rely on my nose to find the source. And if I can't find it, certainly that would annoy me. But I wouldn't stop until I found it and stopped it and put it out of the house, whatever it may be. Any funny stories? Mm, let me try. Yes, yes, I've been thinking about this quite a lot. Um, but that goes back a few years ago when I was a teenager living with my parents. Um, yeah, we moved houses. And then we were living in this house for about two months when this bed smell started to occur. And then nobody knew where it was coming from. We started to search for it. And in the end, we ended up finding a massive rat in the loft. Yes, that was it. And it was full of maggots. It was horrendous. No, I was the one who found it, but I wasn't sniffing around. Horrendous thing. Well, I hope that answers your question. Jane. Jane, you asked, are there any fragrances or fragrance notes which affect your sinuses. My nose has been so far so good. Or make you sneeze or give you headache. That makes me sneeze? No. Headaches? Just if it is sprayed very close to my neck, very close to my nose. Cetric Coater. What kind of fiction do you like to read? What sort of films do you enjoy? And how do you view the UK as a country? I love the UK very much. I believe the United Kingdom is one of those countries that really helped the world to be a better place. So, as someone who adopted this nation as my own, I'm very proud to be here and to hold a British citizenship. I love the United Kingdom and I hope it grows in strength and I hope it really thrives. That's why I see Great Britain. Now, what kind of fiction do you like to read? I do like um, action, I like thriller. What sort of films do you enjoy? I have here uh, a couple of videos that I haven't yet watched and I can share with you so you're going to have a better idea of what kind of films and books I like to read, okay, and watch. I haven't yet watched them, so if you guys have, please don't tell me the end, otherwise you're going to spoil everything for me. Uh, Eternals, 
is Marvel's film. Um, I like when they have superheroes because I know they can fly, they can jump, they can do whatever. If they don't die, it's okay because I know they are not real, not real life. The other one I have here, Doctor Strange, very good one. I haven't watched this one. If you have, so this one is in the Multiverse of Madness. Please do not tell me the end. The third one I haven't yet watched is Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Have you watched it? Did you like it? Just tell me if you liked it, please. Again, don't tell me the end. Now, what's that smell? Asked me. What's your least favorite fragrance? Antia's poem. Has your nose improved since you first got into fragrances? Yes, very much so. At the beginning, my nose was going blind completely. I had nose blind by the third fragrance that I was uh, smelling, but since then my sense of smell has improved. Now I can differentiate smells and notes and I hope it improves much more because I have so much to show you and I'm trying to grow so I can bring up many more fragrances and share with you and many more people everywhere. Are there any fragrances that you smell everywhere? Well, one of the fragrances I've been smelling everywhere lately is Sauvage by Dior. It feels like sometimes the guys have just found out that fragrance and they've been wearing almost every day. So that's the one I've been smelling almost everywhere. Now Lucille, you asked me, have you had any funny or embarrassing reactions to fragrances you're wearing? And have you ever had a funny reaction to fragrances others are wearing. I normally have a fun reaction to those sprays that some of my colleagues spray on them, especially my female colleagues. Nothing against my female colleagues. Sometimes it just smells like air fresheners because they spray their on and then we have mixture of different smells in the air and then it may happen when I start sneezing or my nose gets blocked and then I need to leave the office because that is just giving me a lot of headache. So I hope that answers your question. T, you asked me, outside of fragrances, what's the worst smell you've experienced? Well, out of fragrances, I have to say that was one of my best friend's baby's smelly poo. Hey, Felicity Deluvian. Felicity asked me, what weird smells do you really like? I don't know if there are many uh, weird smells that I really like, uh, but one that really came to mind was manure in the field. I love it, that smell of manure in the field where you see the cattle. Maybe because it reminds me of my childhood when I used to go out with my parents to the countryside. It was a good time with my parents and my brothers, so I loved that very much. And now when I smell it, it just brings back those nice memories. So now we have Sister from Karachi. She asked me, don't you have anything else to do? Like me? LOL. Well, Sister from Karachi, yes, I do. I work Monday to Friday, sometimes weekends as well, in one of the biggest and busiest hospitals in the southwest of England. And my job is to deal with complex discharges. I enjoy what I do, but I enjoy even more being here, talk to you, answering your question. And I truly hope to see you here. And uh, why not liking my videos and letting me know what you think of them. Joe Green sent me another question and I like this one too. What made you start a YouTube channel and how have you found the experience? I always wanted to have a YouTube channel but I never had the time to start it and I was very unsure of what to talk about. And then I realized that I do like reviewing, talking about and experimenting new fragrances and understand the notes and uh, how they are put together and what kind of fragrance we have in the end. So then was when I thought, yes, this is my niche, this is what I want to do, and then I started, but that took a long time. The experience, overall, it has been amazing. I have enjoyed this so much, and every time when I have a comment, a like, a subscriber, you guys cannot imagine how happy I feel, and that gives me that motivation to keep on going, despite being very hard, because being on YouTube is not easy at all, and growing in this bubble is very, very hard, but it's much easier when you talk about things that you do like, you do love. 
and that is what I've been doing. On that note, let me once again thank you all for sending your questions. I really enjoyed reading them, thinking about the answers I would give, and above all, thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please hit that like icon. Certainly, that's gonna make my day. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. Yes, hit that bell notification icon for you to be notified of all my videos as soon as I post them. But as I normally say, and I'll keep it on saying, always look your best. You smell great, because when you do so, the good people will approach you. And I truly hope to see you on my next video. But until then, goodbye.